तो नाउ इमेजिन दैट दिस बेकर दैट यू हैव विद यू ना he wants to go ahead and he wants to uh, not continue his business anymore he wants to just sell off things so beta he has three resources he wants to make sure that you know when he sells them he makes at least as much money as he was making when he was producing cake and to do cheeze baker kar sakta hai pehla he can continue the production of cake and make profit second he will stop the the production of cake he will sell all his resources jo bhi teen resources uske hain flour butter and sugar he will sell them off and by selling he will get some money but he wants to make sure that he gets at least as much money by selling jitna usko yahan se profit mil raha tha utna to kam se kam paisa kamaya at least he earns that much that he earned here so now the following equations will hold true try to see the following beta suppose let me say that u1 u2 u3 are the price of the resources u1 is the price of the flour u2 is the price of the sugar and u3 is the price of the butter then beta when i make cake a how many flour kitna mujhe flour chahiye i require 3 units of flour right and per unit the amount is u1 so 3 into u1 how many sugar one unit so 1 into u2 how many butter one unit so 1 into u3 this is the amount that i will make by selling these resources and if i sell the cake itself to mereko un ek cake ka kitna mil raha how much am i getting from one cake 20 so this amount should be at least as much as i get by making this cake so when i sell these resources if i don't produce and i involve myself in the selling of the resources itself I should earn at least as much as twenty. You clear with that? Now look at the second equation, beta. Six flour into ply price of flour plus zero point five into price of uh, sugar plus one into price of butter should be greater than equal to the amount I can make by selling the cake. You clear with that? Cake B. But what do I want to go ahead and ensure? ये जब मैंने ये now I am selling this ना मैं flour को बेच रही हूँ I am selling flour I am selling sugar I am selling butter. But how many kgs of flour have I purchased in the past? One fifty kgs of flour each at price U one. How many kgs of uh, sugar have I purchased in the past? Twenty two kgs each at price two two U two. How many kgs of butter have I purchased in the past? Twenty-seven point five each at price U three. So, beta, ये मैंने cost incur की है. Cost incurred. I have gone ahead and purchased one fifty kgs of flour, twenty-two kgs of sugar, and twenty-seven point five kgs of butter, each at price U one, U two, and U three respectively. so this is the cost that i have incurred when i would have purchased them jab maine inhe kharida hoga when i would have purchased them then beta jo bhi cost lagi hogi i want to minimize that cost let us go ahead and let us read this now dhyan se padhna hai humne is problem ko beta what is the saying i want to minimize the cost of purchasing the resources i want to minimize that subject to the condition that these resources when sold make as much money as selling a baked cake क्लियर हुआ ये ना 
again you can go ahead and solve these equations using linear programming you can go ahead and solve these two constraints first right and then you can go ahead and see where which point is minimizing this cost now the book does not do that but the book says that when you will solve then you will get the same solution that u1 star will come down as 10 by 3 u2 star as 0 and u3 star as 10 so you will get the same answer that you were getting there as marginal profit jo marginal profit wahan mila tha na abhi upar hume you are going to go ahead and you are going to get the same answer exactly the same answer and and the cost that you will be getting beta yahan par jab humne minimum cost nikali hogi na u1 star u2 star u3 star pe when you would have plugged these values 10 by 3 0 and 10 back in this function jab isko isme dala wapas you will get the answer as 775 so you will get the same answer that you were getting by maximizing the profit. Jo profit maximized ho rahe the, the maximum profit you were getting was 775. And the minimum cost that you will be incurring will also be 775. So try to see what it is saying. It is saying when he produces cake and generates profit, it is 775. But when he sells resources and incurs a cost, wo cost be 775 he hai. This first method that we do earlier, this is called as the prime. And this second method that we do now, this is called as the dual. Isko bolte hai primal or isko bolte hai dual. So the first technique is called as the primal. And the second one is called as the dual. Is this clear to everyone? 